these are the patterns we're working with and these are the pieces I cut out using the patterns. I cut out two pieces of the center front and four of the others. First, I sewed them all together in the order of arrangement on the screen. There will be two sets. Next, I carefully pressed the seam allowances nice and open. And this is what they look like. One set is fused with interfacing and this second set is not. On the darker Ankara fabric, I cut out 1.5 inch wide pieces on the straight grain and then I went on to use a bias strip maker to make them into bias strips. Next, I pinned the strips onto the bodice and as you can see, I actually slanted the two that are directly under the cup openings and also the two next to the center back. Naturally, I stitched them down on each side every one of them i stitched as close to the edge as possible to avoid taking up space meant for my boning to sit in i moved on to the covers for the bra cups i already made these patterns in part one so Watch it to see how I made them. I stitched the two pieces together first and then I placed them on top of the bra cups and I stitched round. Now they look like this. So I would sew them into the cup openings, but first I stitched the two body sets together at the edges just to ensure that they don't get out of control or slip out of form. So I moved on to stitch the cups in next. There are multiple seams on my pieces, but I'll get rid of the ones I no longer need at the right time. I used the bias, the ready-made one, to finish off the edges of my cups. I stitched them down on both sides, but beyond finishing, there will also be channels for my bra underwires. I had made stitches here and here to stop the underwires, which I picked up from an old bra, by the way. So I would insert them and you can see the immediate difference in structure compared to before. Then I made another stitch to stop the underwires at the opposite sides. These pieces are about 2 cm longer than the center back and they are all fused with interfacing. I cut out several of these pieces that are 3 inches long and that I would make into loops for my lace. Back to this ones. I drew a line 1 cm from the edge. Then I marked points each one 2 cm apart from the previous one. I made the loops and I pinned on the points. Then I put the other piece on top and I stitched. After stitching and pressing, I folded them over each side of the center back and I top stitched all the way down. So <laughs> I tried it on. I actually laced it to try it on, but the lace is not there right now. But I tried it on and my verdict is that this is too low. This is too sexy, too sexy for the outside, right? And I just feel like 
if I bend a little, the view is going to be too dramatic, at least for me. So what I'm going to do is to change my plan. I originally intended to have and to have off shouldered sleeves, but they would no longer be off shouldered. So I'll just put the sleeves up here so that, you know, it gives it a bit of a hold up and um, also covers just a tiny little bit more, you know, so I feel more comfortable in what I'm wearing. Other than that, I love it. Now that I have to redo the upper part of my bodice, I measured these three inch wide pieces. I paint them to the bodice and then I fit the straps to my size to make sure it's not too loose or too, or too tight. And then I sewed them on and this is where I would attach my sleeves to. Using my basic sleeve pattern, I increased the length by 6 inches and I also added a 1cm seam allowance around. I started to draw lines for the slash and spread technique which I've used on my channel a couple times in the past. I cut on the lines, I spread out the pieces and I cut out the Ankara. it had become this large. So I stitched the sides, I top stitched the hem, and then I attached the head to my bodies. I made this piece because I wanted to use it as an alternative to an elastic because I couldn't find the elastic when I needed it. So I stitched it to the sleeves to serve as belts, but then I found the elastic later and I decided to keep them both because it was a look. So this is me stitching on the elastic much later. I cut out some 1.5 centimeter pieces of the darker Ankara fabric on an actual bias this time. And I used them to create a neat finishing at the top of my bodies. After this, I inserted bonings in all the channels and I used my bias to close the bottom of my bodice as well. It's important to cut on the bias so that these bias can actually go around the curves with ease and without puckering. I cut my skirt how I've done in the past, but I made my front skirt two inches wider to accommodate the two slits in front. I installed the zipper, I finished the waist using the lining, and um, now we're ready for the big reveal. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I'll see you in my next one.